Abby Myers, segment three, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine. Thanks, entire technical crew, Sonny Hirsch. We have our favorite hospice chaplain on. Uh, he is from the Midwest Palliative and Hospice Care Center, Rabbi Pinchas Eisenbach. Rabbi Eisenbach, how are you today? Fine, thank you. Um, tell us about, well, first of all, let's, you know, not everybody knows what this is, so it's a hospice. Hospice is a place for people who are terminally ill. It can, people who are usually a minimum of three weeks, six months, three months, depending on each case is different, and some people last longer. But one of the problems is that people come at the 12th hour, you know. Mm. So we get recommendations from doctors, from hospitals. And it's very important that when they come to us to make sure that palliative care means comfort care. And we also have the Jewish services care where we take care of the Jewish people. Very is, good. Now, but not exclusively Jewish people. No, we have Jewish, we have non-Jewish, right. we have all religion. But we have a segment specialized for Jewish people that, in case they have medical ethical questions or any concerns, some are religious, some are not religious. And we try to accommodate and work with the rabbis or the clergy to make sure that we, we not only we work as a team, that the family, the children, parents, all of them are included. Now, even though we said you, you guys handle everybody, the fact is that you, you do more than anybody else to be specifically Jewish. Yes. And handle the Jewish crowd, and you've got your first own dedicated facility um, designed basically for Jewish people. Yes. And where's that facility at? It's in Glenview, um, 2050 Clare Court Road in Glenview. It's a new facility where we have everyone together. Yeah, now, and when new, like less than a year old, if I'm it's not about mistaken. Uh, maybe two years old. Okay, it's new for a building. Yes, <laughs> it's very a new building. And uh, no, and and there's a lot of very valuable services. You know, it's interesting because throughout the course of the years you've been on the show, I've had so many people tell me that you know when they had their time of need that you were able to handle their family and uh, take really good care of uh, them in a in a very uh, in a very tough time. Yes, sometimes. People, when they have so many questions, they really don't know what to do. They're like roller skates, up and down, you know. Yeah. Should I do this? Should I do that? So what I do is I usually try to bring the family together and to see the wishes of the family. Not only wishes of the family, also the wishes of the patients try to coordinate and see how I can help them. Yeah. Because in Judaism, we have a different varieties of, of Jewish people and different backgrounds, and we have to not only educate them, we have to make them aware that what we can do and what we cannot do. What's the old expression, 11 Jews, 10 synagogues, or is it 10 Jews, 11 synagogues? Right. <laughs> and, and that's true. And when you explain them what we can do and how we do go about it, that, they're expressive. They will explain you and tell you, look, you know, we have this problem, I should we go about it, and we discuss it. And I don't give him the answer sometimes right away, because sometimes when you think about it, you sleep over, I tell him, go home, think about it, here's a few different options, and different varieties in the Talmud or, or Jewish law, and we'll discuss it again. And, but the most important is take your time, process it, and talk it over with your family. And many times they come back, they said, you know, it's good I didn't answer you right away because I was too hot. And it's better to process and talk it over. And now we all came to one conclusion. That's great. And I think that's important. That's, obviously, that's important. It's very important. You know, you can't rush right away. Take your time. Yeah, no, it's especially at a moment like that, it's also important for people to come to the same conclusion. For example, we had a Russian lady yeah. who, in the last three weeks of her life, she spoke a beautiful Russian, started to speak only in Yiddish. The daughter didn't know one word of Yiddish. Ooh. So she tells me she has pain, this and that, and I shouldn't tell the daughter. So I said, tell me how much pain between 1 and 10. He, oh, he says, you don't understand. It's 11, 12. Ooh. I said, she's real, and I said, where? And I explained the daughter, and I explained the doctor and the nurse, and they were able to help her. Yeah. But she trusted me because I spoke the same Yiddish she spoke. We were able to speak yeah. the same language. That's terrific. Now, you are uh, definitely a skilled, uh, skilled in a number of different languages, from what I understand. Yes. Yeah. So that definitely helps. Yeah, you're, um, hey, you're, uh, I always, you know, I get a lot of people coming to, oh, yeah, I saw my friend uh, Reb Eisenbach on. I saw my friend Pinchas on. So, uh, 
Yeah, you got a definite following, that's for sure. And, um, yes, and also now we also have a new president, Mary Sheehan, a new CEO. Nice we, Jewish name. <laughs> no, no. I'm kidding. No, no, so, but because you're not specifically, you guys aren't. You, you guys are all encompassing. We, we work, you know. Yeah. We don't discriminate. We work with all the, with, with all religion. But what and I this like, is for the Midwest Palliative and Hospice Care Center, right. which is your new name. Right, and we work okay. together. Why? Because she was a nurse. We used to work before together. Yeah. And we, we try to work as a team. If there's a problem or I have a problem or she has a problem with the patient, we call each other, which is important. Yeah. We can work together, and that's very important. And she has common sense. You know, as in, in and she was actually in the situation where she was, yeah, working with the patient directly. With the patient, so, she, so she can comprehend. She's not just an administrator who has no idea what, what the situation is. Right. She's not only compassionate, but she has also, as you say in Jewish, she has seasoning. Okay. <laughs> because sometimes, you know, we need some seasoning. We need a little salt and pepper. Yeah. And she has both, a combination. Sounds good. Sounds good. And um, so that's terrific. How big a staff, how many chaplains are there in the uh, total in, in your organization? Uh, we have, uh, ourselves, we have about four rabbis. Just yeah. in the Jewish, and probably we have about 10 or 12 chaplains, easy. So that's a lot. Oh, yes. Because we try to make sure that everyone is getting the services. Because I can do so much. And right. We want to make sure that it's one-on-one. -on -one. And if they have problems, we work together. Yeah, I know. I know specifically in the case of, as a matter of fact, I don't want to mention any names on the air, but I, I know that there are. There has been more than one occasion I've pointed people um, directly to you and uh, things. Things, you know, they, they were extremely pleased to have been able to work with you, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, you were able in a very difficult situation to give them what to give both the person who was sick as well as their family. Um, you know, the right advice and, and, and able to guide them to the situations that. Uh, they were most comfortable with. Yeah, it's true because what Haspas does, you know, there's two types of rabbis. You know, some rabbis, you know, are judgmental and there's one way street, you know. Yeah. But we are two way street. We try to listen and accommodate and work both ways to make sure that not only the patient is satisfied, also to work with the family and the children. And that's very important in Haspas. Sure, because they, I mean, they're. They're reflected tremendously and they're the ones making decisions for the uh, most part. And to do what's good for the situation. Yeah. And w once I see the problem, then I can be open, put it on the table and discuss it with the family. Tell me, mm. what do you think, you know, you would like to do yeah. and why? And we work it out. Yeah, by the way, he's being real modest, too, because I know I'm not going to go into specifics. I don't think he'd like me to. But you know what? He keeps getting being requested for speaking and for teaching and yes. for all sorts of uh, things. And... Um, you know, I, and by the way, if you, if you want it, they want to take advantage of you, what, 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 you know, they, what do they, they call? They call 847-467-7423. They call hospice. If it's a hospital, if it's nursing homes, yeah. or if it's congregations, or if it's private people, libraries, or any hospital that they have certain questions and they want to discuss end-life issues. Yeah. Or because Holland visiting the sick from the Jewish perspective. Visiting the sick is not only from the Jewish perspective. Visiting, it's, according to the Talmud, Jewish and, and Gentiles, you have to visit and help everyone regardless. Yeah. That's the Talmud says in Gitten, page 61. Okay. When someone comes to you, you help him. You don't ask him the religion because you don't want any animosity. You should say, oh, that this rabbi came and helped me. Like, for example, yesterday I was on call and I had a Protestant patient. Yeah. The guy is looking for his minister. The minister is busy. Yeah. He needed help. So I made spontaneous prayers, and he said, boy, it's almost as our prayers, but it's a little, a few words different. Okay. But the guy was satisfied. He had closure because it was very important. That sounds good. At this point, I, I, I need to interrupt you, though, because i got to say goodbye to everybody. And I want to thank my entire technical crew, Sonny Hirsch. And I want to thank all of you for joining us on the North Town Neighborhood News Magazine. I want to thank my guest, Rabbi Pinkus Eisenbach. And the people who want to contact you, they call? 847-467-7423. And that's the Midwest Palliative and Hospice Care Center, Rabbi Pinchas Eisenbach. Thank you so much, and uh, see you guys next week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thank